there. It's wonderful to have you here ready to explore the exciting world of the internet. Don't worry if you're feeling a little unsure. We all start somewhere. Think of the internet as a vast library filled with endless information, entertainment, and, and ways to connect with loved ones. It's like a magical place where you can find anything you're looking for right at your fingertips. Just imagine being able to read your favorite newspaper, watch old movies, or send a message to your grandchildren, all from the comfort of your own home. That's the power of the internet. It's about making your life easier, more enjoyable, and keeping you connected to the world around you. So are you ready to begin this exciting journey? Let's dive in and discover the wonders that await you in the online world. Remember, take your time, be patient, and most importantly, have fun. We're going to start with the basics, like turning on your computer and finding your way around. Don't worry, I'll be with you every step of the way. Let's get started. All right, let's begin our adventure by turning on your computer. It's as easy as flipping a switch. Look for a button on your computer case. It's often a big round button with a symbol that looks like a circle with a line going part way around it. That's the power button. Once you press it, your computer will start up. You might see some lights turn on and hear some gentle whirring sounds. Don't worry, that's perfectly normal. Your computer is just waking up and getting ready for you. It might take a minute or two for your computer to fully start up. So be patient. Once it's ready, you'll see a screen with pictures and icons. This is called the desktop. Welcome to your desktop. This is your home base in the world of computers. See all those little pictures? Those are called icons. Think of them as shortcuts to different programs and files on your computer. You might see an icon that looks like a web browser, which we'll talk about more in a bit. You might also see icons for things like email, photos, or games. Don't be afraid to use your mouse to move the arrow around and explore. Clicking on different icons will open up different programs and files. But for now, let's focus on getting you online. Now, let's open a web browser. This is a special program that lets you access websites and explore the internet. It's like a magic portal that transports you to different places online. You'll usually find the web browser icon on your desktop. It often looks like a colorful globe or a swirling letter E. Once you've found the web browser icon, simply double click on it. This will open up a window to the internet. You're in. From here, you can visit websites by typing their addresses into the address bar at the top of the window. But there's an even easier way to find what you're looking for. No, you've been a good Searching for information. Meet Google, your new best friend friend. Imagine having a friend who knows everything and is always happy to answer your questions. That's Google. Google is what we call a search engine and it's incredibly helpful for finding information online. To use Google, simply type your question or what you're looking for into the search bar at the top of your web browser window. For example, you could type best chocolate chip cookie recipe or weather forecast for today. Once you hit enter, Google will scour the internet for websites that match your search. It will then present you with a list of results. Click on any of the links to visit the websites and find the information you need. 
staying safe online. A few simple tips. Just like in the real world, it's important to stay safe when you're online. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. First, be mindful of what information you share online. Treat your personal details like your address and phone number as you would in the real world. Don't share them with strangers. Second, be wary of emails or messages from people you don't know. If something seems suspicious, it's always best to err on the side of caution and not open it. Finally, remember that not everything you read online is true. Always double check information, especially if it sounds too good to be true. With a little common sense, you can enjoy the internet safely and securely. You did it. Celebrating your first steps. Congratulations, you've just taken your first steps into the incredible world of the internet. You've learned how to turn on your computer, navigate your desktop, open a web browser, and even use Google to find information. That's a huge accomplishment. Take a moment to celebrate your success. You've opened up a whole new world of possibilities for yourself. Now you can connect with loved ones, explore new hobbies, and access a wealth of information all at your own pace and on your own terms. It's amazing how much you can learn in such a short time. And the best part is this is just the beginning. There's so much more to discover and explore. Exploring new horizons. What's next? Now that you've got the basics down, you might be wondering what else you can do online. Well, the possibilities are practically endless. You could try sending an email to a friend or family member. You could look up recipes or your favorite dishes or watch funny cat videos on YouTube. You could even join online communities for people who share your interests, whether it's gardening, knitting, or classic movies. The internet is your oyster. Don't be afraid to explore and discover new things. And remember, there are plenty of resources available to help you along the way. From online tutorials to helpful friends and family members. Until next time keep exploring well that's all for today's adventure i hope you feel empowered and excited to continue exploring the world of the internet remember you've already accomplished so much you've taken the first step and that's often the hardest part keep practicing keep learning and most importantly keep having fun the internet is a vast and ever-changing landscape and there's always something new to discover. Until next time, happy browsing.